six more. It's kind of plain and boring and slow. Rascals, uh, Maestro, that's about it. Cause I don't listen to Canadian rap music that much. Canadian hip hop is like, is like um, a sweet candy that's outside of its wrapper. If you were to like get Halloween candy and get the candy without the wrapper, you probably wouldn't eat it thinking it's dirty or someone's done something to it. Uh, it's okay, right? But it's not as good as American hip hop. <laughs> Not as good as in the States. Yeah. Why? God, this state's so more better. Yo, check it out. We're gonna do one line for flow to show how the mono always likes to catch wreck. I think overall they just, I mean, you know, the U.S. has a head start. The U.S. is more established, you know. Uh, it, they have a, a larger base that they can access music to. They have actual radio stations that'll play urban music. They have video channels that are dedicated to urban music. There's a lot more avenues. It's hard, I'm not saying that it's easy, but it's a lot harder from here, which makes you have to be a bit more dedicated and a bit more wanting to do it. Rappers wonder how I do it, how I, how I get into it. My breath be fucking leave it, but yo, I still come back because these people just receiving ill rhymes and ill drafts. I call the fast, they tried to be on the wrong side of the trash, but got licked by the train. Understand this ill saying, shot clear for your brain. In the past year and a half, I think, a lot of people are starting to accept their own. I remember for a while, if you were from Toronto or Canada for that matter, like, they wouldn't even be bothered. I think that Toronto is where New York was in 1986 or 87, believe it or not. I think we're about 10 years behind. You as a person, as an artist, or even as a member of the community, if whatever you're doing, saying, expressing, the messages you're giving to people is not you, that's not hip hop. So that's why you can't say hip hop is this, it's American, or hip hop is about the ghettos. You can't not express yourself, your own reality, because that's not hip hop. I love you till I die To taste the grace of your embrace I will cry My mission is to utilize your skills on the mic To rid you of the losers, abusers, and stereotypes Yeah, hip-hop I love you till I die To taste the grace of your embrace I will try Hip-hop emerged out of bloodshed out of, out of ghettos Out of, that's where the shit emerged out of So it came out of bloodshed But there was love in there To say, let's just change this into something that we could, we could live Give life You gotta be original uh, because that's that's how hip hop started. It was built on innovation. So, you know, we have to be innovative. You see me walking, talk, you make faces. Simply because I'm going places. Females are still cause they look ain't appealing. When I rap, brothers collapse, I'm in the ceiling. I gave him a wig, cause he was a hump. More than sex appeal is Jamaican. There's so many barriers that just were like, whatever, man, she, you're not gonna make it, whatever, rapper chick, whatever, whatever, <laughs> stay just smart, rapper whatever. Chick. So there were so many things that just came at me. I was being a woman, going through puberty, and I had my first record deal when I was 15. Had money, lost money, have no money. And it, the cycle <laughs> goes on and it goes on, but yet, you know, I'm out there hollering, Canadian hip hop is real, we got it, we got it. But who believes you? Now, you know, business-wise, we haven't really matched, you know what I mean, our counterparts in the rest of the world, you know what I mean? And I mean, and that's without even being said, because if we had, then, you know what I mean, we'd be really competing with them at the monetary level, which we haven't, you know what I mean? We haven't been as successful as Americans or, you know what I mean, as even Europeans or Japanese people in the amount of record sales that we achieve. The thing is, like, the thing about selling anything is knowing your market. And the thing is, it's like the way Canadian companies are and the way Canadian people are in the hip-hop hip industry right now, they are just simply influenced by the US so it's like the US style that's how they know how to market because they're learning from that instead of like tapping on on our own skills and what's sellable about ourselves and being able to sell that and market that 
as I get wrecked, let me start it again. Yo, I'm bringing my friend. CDC.O.Cats, we don't pretend. The thing is, you know, we watch much music, we watch BT, and you'll see like Puff Daddy and all these people. And all, now, all these artists in Canada think they can get all these things in Canada, but it's just not like that. I mean, per percentage wise, we're 10% of the US's population with a weaker dollar. We don't, we don't generate that much money. The biggest obstacle is that we're in Canada. I mean, Toronto's the biggest city for business in Canada for music, and it's still not enough. Because when you look at it, there's not really a scene here in Canada as compared to a scene in America. We could talk forever about platinum artists in America, black platinum artists in America. You have to look at the real fundamentals and the factors that go into what make platinum artists, what make gold artists, and see if we do in Canada have those same outlets accessible to independent artists. Just you telling us you love us is not gonna do anything. It's, it's really strange that people want us to look better and be able to compare to the Wu-Tangs and the Masterpiece, but won't give us the support so that we can reach that level. Canada has no kind of boundaries for the states. It's from Toronto, oh, you're from Canada. You know, they, Toronto is Canada to them. You know, so it's cracking down there and making them realize, look, you know, we have a legitimate scene up here that, you know, that all, all y'all don't really think about. Because you think of Canada, you think of ski shoes and igloos and snowmen and polar bears. When I try to get DJs 